say that I came up with the idea all on my own, but suddenly I found myself on a rickety old bicycle riding across Malawi, Africa, headed for the tallest mountain in the country. The idea was to document cycling, climbing, and flying from the summit. All of these things required cameras and batteries, which required power. And power, I found, was really difficult to come by in a country like Malawi. I'll never forget launching from Mount Malangi with Matthew. It was the first time that we had ever flown together and over some of the most breathtaking terrain I had ever seen. Each person that I met in Malawi was very special in their own way. But one person in particular really stands out, and it is a young boy named Redson, who was in the eighth grade, and he was preparing to write his final exams within the next few weeks. Because most kids drop out of school around second or third grade in Malawi, it was a really big deal for Redson to be trying to go to high school. And obviously he was nervous about these exams that were coming up. And it wasn't until I went to his house for dinner the first time that it really hit me. I realized that the sun sets in Malawi relatively early. And Redson, when he got home from school, would have chores that he would do, like tending to the chickens or working in the field or collecting water and it didn't leave much time for him during the daylight hours to study. When I was a kid it was like pulling teeth to get me to do my homework and um, we had lights in every every room of our house. I can't imagine how hard it must have been for him to stay motivated to get this far, having had nothing but a candle to study by. So I asked his mom if I could provide their family with a solar panel and, and some lights. And I was stoked to see the smile on her face. <laughs> so I hung a light in the main room of the house and one in Redson's bedroom. Now Redson had the tools he needed to study any time of the day, and his family could actually see each other's faces while they ate dinner for the very first time. I was so moved at the power of this energy that I had always taken for granted, and I thought, why stop at Redson? There were so many other kids here that wanted to do well in school and could benefit from this same energy. So I wrote to Goal Zero and I asked them to send more lights. Yes. <laughs> yes. So now Within two weeks, on. I had set up lights in 10 homes and the village was literally glowing with light. I can't express the power of the moment when a family can, for the very first time, just press a button and have light. <laughs> oh, oh, check it out. And I heard from Redson and great news, he passed his exams and he will be going on to high school next year. I look forward to going back so I can see how he and the other students are doing and bringing more lights with me next time so that I can help more students achieve their dreams. <laughs> <laughs>